sawmill once again and we have this monster loaded up on there sawmill is all the way up as high as it goes about 32 inches and it doesn't the blade won't clear so I'm starting off cutting at 32 inches on that end on the, that's the big end it's about 32 inches on that end about 30 28 30 depending on how you measure this end so again full of knots so this one's gonna be slabbed out it's gonna be interesting getting it getting it down to slab size for the LT 35 but I'm seeing a lot of crotch figure going to be coming out on this one. We've got branch nub up there on that on that side. We've got one down here. Got some kind of scar going down the side of this thing. A great big lump sticking off the side of it. You can see that. And I do see a hole here in the base, but it doesn't seem to go up very far. And again. English walnut, it's got the ring shake in it. You can see that circle right there, yeah. Right around there. So we'll get some out of it. But it's not gonna be a, a great deal. Anyway, we're gonna get the saw on this thing. I may just not bother videoing until we get this thing is squared up because it's going to be a fiasco <laughs> to say the least again big scar here trying to heal over we've got some uh grub holes in it when we cut the other the other ones open there was some kind of grub in there i'm not sure what it was but this was still live when it was cut down barely as you can tell that big uh open wound on the side was not good Pretty sure I'm gonna find some metal in here too, because this was right along the street. So, hopefully not. But again, somebody's pegging a sign to it for sure. And I see a hole going into here. Another good chance for more rot, but we'll see. Hey, if I get to open this thing up and it's looking ugly, I'll cut it in four inch slices. Make it a bunch of bowl blanks out of it or something. <laughs> But uh, right now we'll just get it cut up and see what we end up with. Don't know if we're gonna bother to film any more than this. We may bring you back when the uh, when it's squared up, because it's gonna be <laughs> a lot of fun to get squared up. Well, for what it's worth. See what we can do to this thing. Don't have a whole lot of time today, so we'll see what we can get done.
Okay, finally getting back to this one, so welcome back. About three days later than the last filming. I've had two days of rain. And uh, really bad conditions for milling out here. This is that uh, English walnut log. We got it squared up, almost. And uh, we're just going to be cutting this into some eight quarter to whatever width boards it's going to come out to about uh, I think 18, 19 inches wide. Turn the slab it straight down through. Um, conditional logs not that good, but we'll get it cut, get it stacked, let it dry, and see what comes out of it. All right, let's get started. Get this next one off the mill and uh, take a look at what we got. And the next one, push these off onto the bunks. Just a lot easier to get a view of them if they're <laughs> if it's off of the log and down here on the on the uh, loading arms. Again, that really cool looking grain. Some of that ring shape we talked about again showing up here, and there might be a crack going up along here. I don't know. Typical of English walnut. If anybody out there is familiar with English walnut, if this is typical, please let me know. Here's that branch nub. Starting to close off a little bit, but keeping a lot of interesting grain going on around it. Picking up a little bit of branch growth here. Man, just really, really cool contrasting grain with this stuff. A few more branch nubs coming out here, down along this side. Very, very cool looking grain. I like this stuff, but if it's going to be full of ring shake, I don't know. I mean, I can mill around the ring shake, and then the whole center of the tree is going to be junk, depending on where the ring shake shows up at. But it doesn't go that far up the log, it only goes to here, only about a, maybe 16 inches up the log. And then the rest is looks to be solid. I mean, there's a this crack along here. Not sure if that's from dropping the tree or what. But hey, it dries out, holds together, some butterflies in it. I think you have yourself some nice tabletops. Let's get a look at the next one. All right, now we're starting to get a little bit more of that, or quite a bit more of that, uh, the brown of the walnut rather than just the sapwood. 
Unfortunately, now the ring shake's coming up a little further into the log or into the piece. These branch nubs coming around. Almost like it started to burl a little bit there. And again, that very marbled green. It's the only way I have to describe it. It's black and brown and lighter tan colors all marbled together there. But Picking up another branch nub here, although it's got a little rod in it on the very top of this. Down in here it's still solid, so there's a lot of unique features in this wood. Man, I can't wait to see some of this stuff with some finish on it. Let's get a look at the last one here. And our last cut of this round. Still got plenty up there to cut off. Maybe about six more to go yet on that one. But the crack has shown up. The ring shake is there. You can follow it all the way down. It follows right along the growth ring. Unfortunately. But, and we've got it on this side as well. Which, yep, right here you can see it on the end. You got there and right there. It follows that growth ring right around. Down along, down along underneath as well. We will eventually get out of it. But it is there. It can still be tied together once it dries out. And these could still make some awesome tops. So we're just going to stack them, dry them, and see what we get. Grain is super interesting. <laughs> I wish I could find some one of these without any ring shake. Every one I've cut so far has ring shake in it. So again, if you know more about these, tell me. Are these? Is that common with this with the uh, English walnut? Do they usually have the ring shake in them, or is it just the one that's that I happen to get? Again, it was two of them both on the same property, one standing alive, one standing dead. So let me know. Right, let's get four more slabs cut and see what we can find in here. Ring shake's pretty bad towards the center. That uh, first one I rolled off there broke like three strips. But go down and take a look at it. Alright, here it is. As you can see, separating all the way down. This side's still pretty good. It's a little bit in here. Here's what is pulling apart really bad. There's a little bit in here. It looks like here as well. Let me see. Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> that side's coming apart. There's another crack in here. Yep. And we're getting, that's uh, pretty much the pith, I believe, there. Pretty close to the pith, maybe one more slab. But man, if this stuff didn't have ring shake in it, it doesn't look like I'd have any trouble with this. But it is what it is. Let's get a look at the next one. And here we are, I believe this is the pith. Yeah, this is the pith of the log here. We've got a crack going down along this here. This seems solid out here, but this has almost 100% separation there. And then we see another one starting to develop here. Wow, I'm starting to doubt I should even mill this thing. This does not seem like this is going to stay together at all. <laughs> be a mess when it dries, I think. Hey, give me some opinions on this. Some are going to say, oh, to put it in a wood pile, a firewood pile, or a burn pile, or I never would have taken it. But 
you never know until you open them up. That's the way I look at it. And even if I can, I can't use the whole slab, I could sure take a figure between the two cracks here, about 10 inches, 8, 10 inches across. Even get some sections out of that. And again, this is the pit, so this is the this is the gnarliest looking stuff in here. So one more coming off this cut. So let's get a look at it. Awesome green again, but <laughs> load it with rain shake. And it's starting to pick up. Looks like some bug damage in here, maybe. Hard to say, but uh some branch nubs growing out here. Man. Love the looks of this stuff, but hate the ring shake. Yeah, it looks like we got maybe uh, three to four more cuts in this log and we're done. And I, I have some uh, two oaks and a maple to slab yet, and I'm done slabbing. Then I'm going to quarter saw a red oak, and oh, no, I'm mistaken, I still have another piece of red oak, like four footer to slab, and uh, what else? Still might slab this thing up, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Just hoping I don't find any rot in there, because if it's slabbed and it's rotted, it's not much for turning blanks. But, back to the English walnut. Let's see what we can finish out on here. Camera set. Let's go see what we can find in this, the rest of this. Here's the last of it. As you can tell by that one I flipped. A big piece come off the corner again. Section of ring shake. Can't get away from this. You can see it right around here. All the way around. Following right along the growth rings because that's what ring shake does. But I got some separations here. Following down along there, separations in here, man, this might be too bad to do anything with, but it's not going to cost me anything to set it, set it up, sticker it, and let it dry. It's already cut, so just let it dry and see what comes of it. Maybe nothing, maybe something, who knows. Might end up cutting chunks out of it, gluing it together, making turn blocks. But I'm starting to get a little bit more disappointed with this one. <laughs> well, let's get this done, get it off here, and get the next one up. I'll show you each one, but only because the grain looks really cool. But quality is really down there. Um, kind of getting really disappointed in this one. But let's see what else we got. Okay, that stack's getting a little high on the loading arm, so just flopping a mouthful onto the deck here and uh, taking a look at them. We are, looks like we're out of the ring shake. 
with uh, these last two slabs. Yeah, that's not a crack, that's solid. Put a little bit over here. Not sure exactly what that is going on there, but right along the edge isn't bad, but the rest of it appears to be solid. So if we can pull four slabs out of this that aren't cracked, good. <laughs> It's not a 100% waste. I think the first two we cut off, the first three we cut off, did not have any shake in them. I can't remember. But hey, let's give you an idea here. One second, let me come around. Book match. Nice. Let me check it from the other end. Okay, the one on the left is up a little bit higher because it's still sitting on top of the last one the last board but you get the idea with a book match there or flip them the other way and leave the, uh, the lighter sap wood on the outside edges but hey still got some possibilities here and here we are last cut another chance for a book match here these two are pretty solid, so. Like I said, flip them around, put the sap on the outside, or leave it here on the inside. It looks like we'll have some good slabs out of this. Won't be a complete waste, but those middle slabs I'm very disappointed in. All right, let's get this one cleaned up off of here again. Folks, hey, 1400 at the time of this filming, which I'm way behind on video editing, but 1400 uh, subscribers so far, actually a little bit more than that, and it is growing quickly. The views are way up, comments are up, and, and definitely the subs are up, so hey, keep it coming, keep on liking these, keep on sharing them, keep on subscribing, and that little uh, bell shaped thing next to the subscribe that's uh that's an alert button that'll tell you every time i put up a video just click on that it sets the turns the alert on so when i put new videos up you can come on over and uh give it a thumbs up all right i'm gonna get this cleaned up thanks again for coming out and we'll see you out here next time